Hi there friends, this is Grace again and today I wanted to share with you some of the um, DIY or easy ways that I organize my stuff. Now um, I know that it's I should be showing pictures of my whole scrapbook room but it's still not as organized as and pretty as I would like it to be so I'm just gonna show you like snippets and um, little things of how I organize things. One of these days I'll get around to it. Anyways, um, these, uh, these are my um, die cut well, actually just from one company but these are some of the die cuts that I own and um, these are from diversions now some of the little ones I have I I have the original package but the other ones I don't so I found that if I use the CD envelopes that um, it will be it will be a good place for me to store it and so um, one of the things that I love about these CD cases is that that big um, plastic in the middle. So I can kind of just shift around my die and I can see exactly what's in it. I also wrote down um, the shapes. This one has heart and snowman just so I know when I thumb through all my die cuts I can just quickly see what I need. And um, these are big enough that it can actually hold some of the bigger ones like this one is a big let it snow die. Let me see if I can pull it out. So this is pretty huge. I don't know the specific size but I think this whole paper is um, excuse me is about five inch square so it's about that size width and it fit fits the whole die and I just slip it back in there and um, it works for me because I can see exactly what's out there. I'm the kind of person that if I don't see it I forget it so I'm a lot of my um, storage solutions are either open or have um, places that I can see what's in it. So that's the first one that um, I use and these CD packets are pretty inexpensive. They're, I believe they're $5 for a hundred pack at uh, Walmart. Okay, so that's first. And then the second one I was gonna show you are how I um, kind of organize the dies or the cuts that I have made with my die cut machine. So I have been very um, excited about my cameo and so the first two months I've just been cutting away. I was I really didn't have any specific ideas for these cuts but I just love them and so I have been um, cutting away and I noticed that I have a lot of cuts and what am I going to do with them. So the first thing that I did was for those big ones that wouldn't fit my um, sheet over here I put them in a I had reused this tin from Maya Road that uh, originally had chipboard in it. So I had put all of my big cuts over here like this beautiful heart, which by the way is cut from the Diversions die and not from the Cameo. But I also have, see I'm saving all these tree accents. I don't know what I'm going to use them for, but I just love them. And um, I have a sun and a camera that I thought would be really cute. So that's where I store the big um, cut papers that I have. And then for the little ones that could fit these ones, I believe these are trading card sheet protectors. Um, I used to clip a lot of coupons and so I had a binder full of these um, nine pocket sheet protectors and so now that I don't clip coupons I just have them in my scrapbook room and I thought well I can use them for my cut um, items so as you can see I had put like a flower over here there's a bunch of circles that I cut I don't know what I'm going to use them for but there's some words so I just keep them and then when I need them I can just pull them out the same goes with this I actually kind of you know put a lot of them stack them at one stack a lot of them in one pocket but I can still see a lot of the the elements or the the letters and the accents so um, it it works for me so that is my second DIY or inexpensive way of storage the third one is so going back with my cameo and I'm gonna pull the camera out just a tad going back with my cameo um, I have I stored my Cameo um, mat here and then I have some vinyl that I use to cut and then uh, I'm, I don't know, sometimes I feel like I I need to just 
let go of some stuff. But this one, this is um, the negative of cuts and I just thought, oh well, you know, I can put pictures over here and just place it on paper. When I think of ideas to use my scraps, then I keep them. So I had put all of my stuff there and as you can notice, as you can see, this is actually a USPS box. So this is one of those priority boxes and I just made a box and then I cut the top part of it, maybe about a quarter of the top. I cut it out and that's, and um, I'll decorate this one of these days, but for now this is where all my cameo, like big stuff stays. And it's pretty good because I have this by my cameo so I can just kind of pull it out if I need my, my, um, uh, what should I call this? If I need my vinyl, oh my goodness, <laughs> my brain's not working. But if I need my vinyl, I can just pull it out and it's so easy to go. So what did I do with a quarter piece of the box that I cut out? I actually used it to store some of my clear stamps. Now these stamps are from one company. They're from Inspired by Stamping. And because I have a lot of those, um, stamps from that company. I wanted to separate them from the rest. So what I did was um, I actually decorated a box. I put pattern paper, washi tape on the sides and then because I stored this um, on, on its side I actually put the name of the stamps on one side and then the rest of the stamps can uh, can go in here. And so far so good. Um, as you can see it's kind of close to being too too full but for now it works. Um, most of these stamps um, I get before they are released so I don't have the packs. These are ones that have packs in them. I have the brand and everything and but most of the ones because I designed for this specific company I get the releases before or I get the stamps before the releases so what I do is I just get I have a big stack of eight and a half by eleven sticker paper um, it's just white paper but it has sticker adhesive on the back of it and so I would just cut out little pieces and just handwrite the name of the stamp sets on there so that it would be easy for me to reference later on. Um, some people use label maker and I think that's awesome but because I have I have my hands so good that I can write and then I also have my stickers uh, my, my whole sheet of white paper stickers that I don't really I don't need a label maker maybe one of these days but that is the I would say the fourth way that I organize my things and you USPS boxes are free um, of course don't take a lot of them if you know, because they're they're mainly for for um, shipping. But if you can grab a couple on when you go to the post office, I think it will it will be really inexpensive way for you to store your stuff and to organize your items. And the last one I want to show you is one of the my oldest. Um, storage items that I have in my scrapbook room. I've had this little container for I think since I started scrapbooking. Anyways, I found this actually at I believe it's like TJ Maxx or something. It is a just a divider and as you can see it's um, just filled with stuff but anyways I use it for cards so I had made tabs and again I just wrote my tabs on there I have thank, thank you friendship wedding so on and so forth and then I would just stick my finished cards in here and then um, whenever I need one I can just pull out like my birthday one is the one that's really full because you can you always need a birthday card for somebody and so I put all my birthday cards in there um, I just did a few Christmas cards for design team assignments. Oh, here's that Let It Snow um, die cut that you saw earlier. So as you can see, this one is huge because it fills out pretty much the whole. Um, this is an A2 card. That means it's a four and a quarter and by five and a half size card. And uh, it filled up the whole space. So that's fun. But anyways, so those are the five ways that I organize my stuff. And this these are... I believe this little accordion album or accordion um, organizer I got for $2 at TJ Maxx. And it's pretty cute because it has pink and this is kind of a canvas type 
um, front and back and has the string already in there. So there you have it. Five easy ways to organize your scrapbook supplies. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, um, just leave me a comment um, and make sure that you stop by my blog for some finished projects and other ideas. My blog is tolmanchronicles.blogspot.com. Thank you. Bye.